The allegations are disturbing. Two women who do not know each other have each come forward to The Hollywood Reporter with sexual assault allegations, which Noth denies. The alleged assaults happened in 2004 and 2015. The women say they are coming forward now after being triggered by his revival of Mr. Big and HBO Max's and just like that. Oh my, Carrie, I must have you. I was a little hesitant at first, you Where know, you? because, well, it's interesting that it, like this whole thing, there's so much uh, attention garnered on it, you know, it, it becomes a little, um, intimidating sometimes for you a, Chris a private life the first accuser who goes by the pseudonym Zoe was 22 in 2004 she alleges a then 49 year old Noth invited her to his Los Angeles apartment once inside he immediately kissed her then quote pulled off her shorts and bikini bottom and began to rape her Zoe claims to have yelled stop when she alleges he didn't she pleaded with him to use a condom kiss me a big cry baby at the time, Sex and the City had recently aired their series finale. Zoe claims she feared no one would believe her if she reported the alleged assault. What side are you on? It better be mine. The second accuser, who goes by Lily, was 25 in 2015. She claims the then-married 60-year-old asked her on a date in Manhattan, and after, quote, she had too much to drink, Lily agreed to go to Noth's apartment. The next thing she knew, quote, he was having sex with me in a chair. I was kind of crying as it happened. According to an alleged text reviewed by The Hollywood Reporter, Noth messaged, quote, did you enjoy our night? I thought it was a lot of fun, but I wasn't quite sure how you felt. Is it intimidating to be called the perfect man? I'm not being called that by anybody. <laughs> no one's calling me the perfect man. It's really <laughs> not my friends or family. <laughs> In a statement to E.T., Noth calls both accusations, quote, categorically false, adding the encounters were consensual. Should we take another ride? Life's too short not to. In the wake of the allegations, Peloton has pulled their viral spot spoofing Big's death from their social pages. To new beginnings.